Hello everyone, I'm FMZ and welcome to another episode of Who to Manage in FM21. And today we are taking a look at the mighty Manchester United, probably the hardest challenge in the Premier League this year. Don't forget, if you enjoy this content, please leave a like on the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already and would like to do so, please click the subscribe button. And don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified when a new video goes up on the channel. Right, that's enough of me. Let's dive in to Manchester United. Now, I think it's fair to say when it comes to summer transfer windows, Manchester United did not have the greatest of windows. Yes, they did bring in a couple of players. But in my opinion, at least, they did not strengthen the squad in the areas that you really needed to. So as we've done before, we're going to take a look at each area piece by piece, starting with the goalies. And also don't forget, we're including the players from the under 23 squad. Now, I think it's fair to say in the goalkeeping department, you have very little problems with Manchester United. Obviously, you've got David De Gea, one of the best goalkeepers in the world. Dean Henderson, probably the most reliable backup you're going to have. Sergio Romero is still with the club, as is Lee Grant. So they are your four front-line goalkeepers. You will not need any more than that. You may look to upgrade, certainly in Romero and Lee Grant's case. But I think, personally, you are fine for goalies. It's in defence where you are really beginning to struggle. Because... Normally I break it down into right backs, left backs and centre backs. This is it. This is all you have in terms of defenders. So it is a problem area. A real problem area. So taking a look positionally, obviously Aaron Wan-Pasaka is your first choice right back. Timothy Fotsu Mensah is going to be the backup to him. On the left hand side you've brought in Alex Tellez this summer. Brandon Williams is a great left back, as is Luke Shaw. They are going to be the three fighting it out for that position on the left-hand side. So you may want to look at another right back, certainly, to help wan -Bissaka. Obviously, you're in Europe, don't forget as well. So that will help you out there in terms of being able to rotate the players around as and when you need to. Left back, three left backs is fine. It's moving into the centre of defence, where I think you've got the biggest problem. So... Provided you're not a massive Phil Jones fan, he's probably going to have to go. You've got Harry Maguire, most expensive defender in the world. He is your first choice centre-back. It's the second one that is up for debate. Obviously, you've got the likes of Alex Twansaby, who have come through the Manchester United Academy, and on paper are a very good player. Unfortunately, as a great man once said, the game is not played on paper. Eric Bailly is another one, but very injury prone. Victor Lindelof looks to be the partner for Harry Maguire in the centre defence. So I certainly would go out and bring in at least one, if not two, centre halves. Moving into midfield, and again, this is all you have for what they class as midfield players. So, again, very slim pickings on the ground. Obviously, for the centre of midfield, Scott McTominay, Bruno Fernandes, Paul Pogba, Donny van der Beek, Fred and Nemanja Matic are going to be your players to play in a two or a three, depending on what you decide to do in the centre of the park. Out wide, you've not really got a lot of options in midfield. You've got Jesse Lingard, who can play in a wide position. Dan James, who can probably play on the other side of the wide positions. And that is about your lot. Obviously, you'll probably predominantly going to use one of your strikers to play out wide if you're like me and prefer winger wingers then you are going to have to probably look at maybe upgrading Lingard and James to try and boost that part of the pitch because that's not a lot of options really isn't and it's quite shocking really that Manchester United have let it get to this position as illustrated when we look at the attacking midfield players, most of the players who were playing in midfield just now are here as well. Fernandes, Pogba, Lingard, James, Van der Beek. The only real additions are Juan Mata, Mason Greenwood, Marcus Rashford and Anthony Martial. That is it. That is all you have 
players that are coming through, there's not really that many coming through either. You've got the likes of Chong and you've got the likes of Pereira, but they're going to both be out on loan in your first season. There'll be an option going forward, but for the short term, you've really got to try and find a fix to solve the problems in midfield for Man United. But going back to what I was talking about earlier with playing one of the strikers in a wider position, you could probably do that with the options you have to play as your central striker, provided you play that formation, of course. So you've got Edison Cavani, bought him from PSG. It's a policy that has very rarely worked out for Manchester United. Obviously, Zlatan Ibrahimovic was a huge success coming in at the time of life that Cavani has. But then if you look on the flip side of that, they bought in Ramelow Falcao and he did absolutely nothing. So it is a very much a gamble what they've done with Cavani. It might work wonders. Then again, it might not. Obviously, you've still got Oni Odegaro. He is still with the club. But your main choice is really, in my opinion, at least to be your starting striker, Martial, Rashford or Greenwood. I had Greenwood last season with Sheffield Wednesday. Again, it is in the championship, so the comparison between the two is not really there. But he was a prolific striker at championship level, and he's only going to get better with the stats for FM21. So there we have it. Manchester United in a nutshell. Lots and lots for you to sort out. And I would say there is a fair few out there that are probably going to take on the challenge of Manchester United this year. It is a huge challenge to overhaul this squad and get back to where Manchester United were at the top of the Premier League, sweeping all before them. Don't forget, if you enjoy this content, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to click the notification bell to know when a new video goes up on the channel. And also don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got any other teams you want me to take a look at. So I've been FMZ, that was Manchester United, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.